Hello and welcome to the video. In this tutorial, we are going to quickly learn how to edit the text in six different ways or more at beginner's level. So without wasting your time, let's begin. First, how to add outline to text. One simple way is that take a text, go here to the stroke panel and add stroke width of your choice and there it is. It adds a nice outline to your text. This is one way. But there is a catch. If the text is too close to each other, as in this case, when we add stroke to it, it begins to overlap and does not give us good result. So for that, we will remove this stroke and we will turn this text to outline. Now it has become an object. Now to compensate for the overlapping path with the object selected, go to the Pathfinder panel and hit Union. This as you can notice has merged the overlapping paths. Now we can go up here in the objects and then click down here to Path, Offset Path and then add an outline to it and now you can see it. It goes nicely around the text without competing or overlapping. You can now change its color as well. Cool, now moving on to the second one, how to add multiple strokes. For that, we will use the offset path once again. Select the text, go here in the objects and then to path and offset path. Set it to 10 pixels and done. Change its color a little bit so you can see the difference. Now go back again the objects, then again back to the path and offset path and again add 10 pixels. Again change the color so that you can see the difference. There you go, you have the second offset and in this way you can go on adding as many strokes as you want and in this way you will have the multiple paths you want. For the third one, now let's move on to how to add shadow to the text. For this, first of all, select the text, go to objects and then to stylize and then to drop shadow. Here you can already see it has a nice shadow. You have the ability to increase or decrease the blur and also move where the shadow falls on the background by changing the values on both the X and the Y axis. It is always better to keep the shadow close by. This was easy and fun. Now let's move on to number four, how to quickly learn to add a long shadow. To attain long shadow, we will use the transform settings. Let's take this text and copy it and paste it in the back. Now we need to select the text that is on the back. For that go here in the layers menu and select only the text that is at the bottom and hide the text that is above it by turning off the eye sign in front of it. Now go here on the left and select the fill color and turn to black color since shadows are obviously dark. Now keeping the text selected go here in the FX and then transform and fill in the value of 0.2 pixels on both the X and the Y axis and then go down here and make 500 copies of it and there you go it will give you the longer shadow you want now turn on the eye symbol in front of the top layer change the color if you want to and there you go you have your long shadow ready you can now make one last change by reducing the opacity of the text that is at the bottom by selecting it and reducing its opacity here in the properties so far so good but there is one more method to get even better results want to know how let's do it first remove this transform so that we are back to the normal and quickly add another copy of this text at the back. Now get hold of the last copy and hold Alt and Shift to drag it diagonally. It will automatically lock on to 45 degrees angle and then just place it outside the artboard. And now select the two bottom texts and then go to objects, blend and blend options, use specified steps and enter 800 copies. Press OK. Go back here and blend here and press make and there you go. You have the long shadow effect done. Finally, add a rectangle of the size of the artboard on top of the blend. Hold the blend and the rectangle, right click and press clipping mask and then now turn on the top text that you have hidden and you have your very very long shadow absolutely ready for your project. All right, we are through to number five now. Let's make the text raised. Type the text smarty and make it larger. Now copy it once and paste it on the back and then copy it again and paste it on the back one more time. Now let's go here in the layers menu and name the top layer as top text. Then the text below it is the text light or highlight and the one at the bottom as text shadow. We need to now turn the color of the text light to white. Let's quickly do that. And now we will also turn the color of the text shadow to black and then give the top text the same color as the background. Now let's select the text light layer and then using your keyboard arrows, move it by five times on the left and then in the upper direction. Done. Now let's select the text shadow layer and again do the same, but in the opposite direction by pressing it five times using the arrow keys on the right side and then five times to the downward. 
downwards. To make it look more natural, let's again select the text light layer and go here in the effects and add Gaussian blur and give it the value of 5 or maybe 7. Then do the same with the text shadow layer and you can also add the Gaussian blur to the top text layer if you want to. Now zoom out a bit and there you go. The text looks as if it's raised on the surface. And now finally we are on to the last one, how to cut or slice the text. Let's first write the word slice and center align it. Now we will press right click and create outline. This has turned the text into an object and this is a very important step, do not forget it. Now I'll go here on the left hand side and select the knife tool hidden below the erase tool. Now simply come down here and nicely slice the text. Make it as even as possible. You can see it's sliced but it is still grouped as one object. So get the selection tool by pressing V and then right click on the text and press ungroup and now hover and drag the mouse over the upper half of the text and just group it together and change its color to this nice ocean blue shade and drag and select the lower half, group it and change its color to this nice yellow. Cool. Now you can add the drop shadow to the upper half of the text so that overall it looks even nicer. I hope you loved this fun tutorial and now it's time for you to like the video and press subscribe. Goodbye. I'll see you very soon.